What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. The sexiest hell host of the Life Gains channel. Today, we are talking about so called online experts and the shit people do to try to show you that they're an expert when you really have no idea what they're doing or what they have gone through to say that they're this or that. And I want to shout out my man Kenny KO. He did a great video with Heba Ali who is a strong chick, mind you, but she does this little stunt where she tries to stack 900 pounds on her legs while she's leaning up against the wall. Take a quick look. And see, that right there is a prime example of what I'm saying. Someone doing something to say they're an expert, but is not really per se an expert. Now she's in great shape and she does a lot of different things. She's got sponsors and all this, but that's just a calling card for her. And Kenny K.O. found out that these weights were fake. And the thing that that lets you know is that on the online industry, popularity does not mean you're an expert. And sad to say, in the online industry, entertainment is going to get you views, which gets you subscribers, which leads you to believing that somebody is a damn expert. I mean, my God, me and my wife, we both have medical backgrounds, all that. Our videos might not be quite that entertaining. We might not do some of the stuff you see other people doing, but we know what we're talking about. And the thing about what's going on in the fitness industry as a whole there is a lack of regulation in the industry. There's not a whole lot of, and I'm not calling for regulation by no means, but we do need something to buffer people from things that can make it unsafe or make their journey to weight loss harder. When I first started weighing 350, I went through this phase where everything I seen online, I, I, you know, I believed it. Hell, I believed H Hogan when I was 10 years old. Say your prayers, eat your vitamins, work out and you can look like me till I found out that shit was a lie. My man was doing all that plus injecting his ass with steroids. That's something you got to watch out for in this online industry. Just because the body looks a certain way don't mean that they're doing it through the means you are willing to do it. So what I would tell you is when you're trying to find an expert or when you're trying to find someone that can help you on your journey, you know, talk to them, email, reach out to them, see if they'll communicate back with you, see what their history is, learn their history, get to know what it is they have done to be where they're at, see what their story is, and then just try to see if you can track them and channel log and see their progress, especially in the fitness world. I mean, because we, th this whole thing on entertainment and TV, I tell people the same thing. It is nothing but WWE. Meaning the shit is all fake. What you see is not what you'll get if you try it. Everything has a degree of fakeness to it and policy, po politics to it and entertainment value to it that you see online and on TV. And I just want you guys to be safe out there. You know, just because you've got a million and one subscribers don't necessarily mean you're an expert. But at the same time, having a lot of subscribers could, all, could mean that you are an expert. You just got to do your research. You've got to be diligent in figuring things out before you sit up here and start believing everything people say. You know, I put my channel on display. Everything I've done in my life from being a cab driver to being an Uber driver to being an EMT to being a respiratory therapist to being the CEO and owner of commercial real estate to being a CEO and owner of a commercial child care business from my wife to being an EMT to going to med school to being a general practice doctor to now she specializes in kidneys she's a nephrologist we have put in the time we've talked about it on these videos and we've tried to show you guys step by step the way we do it the hard way not the fast way and so the internet needs individuals like Kenny K.O. Um, there are several others that call out bullshit so that you don't get taken advantage of. And I do that too. I just don't do it on as grand a scale as they do. I don't really like to insult people, not saying that they have done it, but you hear a lot of people trying to insult someone or insult shame someone into quote unquote telling the truth. When at the end of the day, most of us have 
the financial dollar as the motivating factor for our success. I mean, even I do. It's just that I'm not willing to sacrifice losing subscribers that I've worked hard to get by per se lying to you. I don't want to lie to you. If I say this works, it's got to work. And so for those of you that are taking supplements, you know, maybe your, um, your CLAs, your omega-3 fish oils, your D3, your general supplements that you might be missing in your diet, I always tell people to look for the USP label on your supplements. It looks just like this. They are an independent body that tests products for purity. Not too long ago, they busted Walmart and a couple of other chains for lying, saying that there was stuff in their supplements and it really wasn't there. So guys, always dig beyond the surface of popularity when you're looking for a quote unquote online expert so that you don't get taken advantage of in your pocket and saving money and avoiding ripoffs and scams is a life gain and y'all know we about that life. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. And if you are looking for that coach to help you on your fitness goals, hit me up at www.facebook.com forward slash lifegains07. I got the cheapest deals online for one-on-one -on -one consulting with your fitness. Just let me know how I can help you, learn about my journey, and we can see if we can make that journey happen for you as well. And until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.